Hey guys, Cole here with Vision Miner, and today I'm going to show you how to change the hot end on your FunMat HT Enhanced. Only tool you're going to need is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. So make sure your machine is off and cool, completely cooled down. So take your 2.5 millimeter wrench Allen key and undo the two bolts that secure it in place. Now before you pull it out completely, we want to make sure we undo, I'll bring it a little closer, so you can see it. The power cable which is the green one, and the thermistor. And if you have a high temp nozzle in, thermistor and jumper wire. Once those are safely removed, out comes the hot end, like so. To replace it, this is what is crucial. I'm gonna just set this back in place real quick. So, in order to make sure that this micro switch works properly, so that when you, it touches the build plate, you get that satisfying clicking. See this black bracket, the bottom Look, this guy right here, cooling fins for the heat break, right? They need to be flush, flat against one another. Nice and flat. Because we don't want this thing off to a weird angle, like, you know, that. So. I like to hold the heat block down. Now these can these are these these actually can be bent and moved however they need to be. So you can you can work that so it does whatever you need it to. But I will hold the heat block itself down. Just a little bit of downward pressure on that heat block so that this thing doesn't, you know, get crooked. And while doing that, I will actually, okay, so pulling down, find, find the hole, there it is. Find that, find. there it is. Okay. I won't tension that down all the way because I need to secure the other one as well. First, just, you know, the equivalent of finger tight so that you can jog it back and forth, pull down, left tighten, right tighten, all the while I'm pulling downwards. I'll let go. Push up, perfect. Perfect action. When you depress, when you push up on this nozzle, it goes directly up and straight into that micro switch. I then know everything is working properly. Can you explain? I will torque it down. So when you, you'll know everything is aligned properly when you depress the nozzle, and you hear. You might not be able to hear it here, but there will be a satisfying click. That is this micro switch. That is why we spent all of that time aligning this properly. That needs to happen easily. You don't need to want to be, have to put a ton of pressure on it or push it in a strange way. It's a very smooth action. If you're not getting that, either unscrew these a little bit, reposition the hot end, 
bend these however you have to so that you're getting that satisfying click. No satisfying click, it could be that you're already depressing it. And that's, that, that's a problem. So once you have that, let's go ahead and reinstall our cabling. The green power cable goes on the bottom. And our thermistor and or thermocouple and jumper will go in the only open slot available. Hang on guys, I have to line this up. I'm doing it by seal. There we go. We'll fix it in post. There we go. I can do this in the dark at this point. There we go. Now we know our hot end is properly aligned because we're getting that satisfying click. It is imperative that we do a level sensor calibration before we do anything else and then test the auto leveling. Even if you don't plan to use auto leveling, do the level sensor calibration. You must. All right, any questions, let me know down below. Thank you guys, I appreciate it.